Welcome back everyone to our Let's Play series of Motorsport Manager. So we're here in the GT series and I swapped out uh, from the workshop I've downloaded and installed the Ford Fusion NASCAR Cup car as our 3D model instead of the normal GT car. So it's a graphic change only. It doesn't affect the performance in any way. Uh, so it, just to, to summarize, our first race in our previous video, we finished 11th and 14th, which uh, you can see is below target for us right now because that was an eighth place team finish for us. And our goal is seventh or above. So we got a little bit of pressure on us. And, but that's okay. That's part of the game. And so right now our team, you know, our car is eighth out of 10. Our drivers are sort of middle of the road. Uh, our staff is great. We're second on staff. Uh, we got to really do a lot of work on these sponsors. Uh, that was most of this, in fact, all of it really is a holdover from last season and our drivers were uh, pretty terrible as far as marketability. So right now uh, for the new season, I've got some drivers that are much better. And right now we're maxed out on sponsor appeal level uh, until I can get this five star sponsorship level. So we've got a lot of work before we could even get there regardless, but 71% is a whole lot better than we were last year because we were in the teens last year on marketability and maybe even lower than that at some parts. Let's go ahead and get started looking through our emails here. Let's see what we've got. Uh, naturally, we have an interview. Let's see what we get. You attempted a quick pit stop and it resulted in a mistake. All right, this is becoming the new normal right after a race is, it doesn't matter if you do a, a quick pit stop and the, the mistake is actually, you know, a half a second or if it's eight seconds, it doesn't seem to matter. Uh, so then you get your chairman criticize the move, and I always choose this one, even though it costs me a little bit generally. Okay, it didn't this time. Sometimes it costs me about 5% morale. Okay, scouting report, low-quality driver. All right, we don't want that. And our new engine is ready to go. Let's go ahead and get rid of that mark here. And let's move on and design yet another engine. And let's see what we want to do. So I know I want this one. I would love to have that plus 50, but not the wrist level. Okay, so we'll go ahead and do this. It'll actually be done once again, right about the time of the race. Let's see what we're looking at on the next one. Let's see, you got plus 40 to the max, minus some reliability. Man, we got a terrible draw here. This is not... Good. The plus 50 is not actually that bad on soft supers and ultras, which are the tires that we used almost exclusively, except for the rain tires, of course. But the problem with that is it doesn't carry over to the next season. So you lose that at the end of one season into the next. Uh, the plus 70 to the max is very nice. Okay, but we're kind of hampered. And I was hoping that because we have an exceptional lead designer that we wouldn't have to worry about this so much. But it does not appear as though that is going to be the case. Okay, let's go ahead and move forward a little bit so that we can get our car repair finished. And let's set this back up. Okay, we'll get these two. In fact, we ought to have a chance to get uh, the six days after the race, of course, is to get these to 100% each. I'm not worried about 100%. If I can get to 80%, that is perfect because that keeps me above that 20% number and keeps me out of the red zone. Okay, so let's go ahead. We got new parts being produced. Um, unfortunately, I would really, really like to work on that engine, but I just don't have the time right now. It's more important to me that I don't have to make uh, as many 35 to 40 second pitch stops as I've been making. That saves me a lot more time uh, then the better performance will. Okay, test track, but a few upgrades. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Got it. Everybody wants the upgrades. Me as well. Okay, 74 is actually not bad at all. Let's see what happens if I move this out and move this in. Wonder how, let's see, six days after the race, we might actually be able to use this. If I can get it up to about mid 70s, uh, if you remember in our first race, I didn't have to do any repairs to the engine. 
So if I can get it up to about that level, I will be very happy. Let's see what we've got there. Okay, nothing we're interested in here. All right, let's go ahead and continue on. I'm not sure why by default it stops every time you get to the beginning of a month, but it does. Okay, so we're ready for the next race. Let's check our email first. Okay, low quality driver. That's definitely not what I wanted to see. Okay, 73, good. That's what I was looking for. We got some more parts into the 70s, particularly the engine and the gearbox because they take the most time to fix. The brakes take the least amount of time to fix. The next thing I'll be working on will be the suspension. Okay, so now we've got a couple of engines built, which will substantially increase. You know, you think about going from 295 to 359 on the engine, that's really good. 335 to about 384. Also, very good. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and put this one in to be worked on. And let's see, I want to work on gearbox, but Let's go ahead and work on some brakes because they take the uh, least amount of time along with the spoiler. So let's go ahead and see what we've got here. Oh, wow. And immediately I met with two wrist markers. All right. But the plus 20, I like that. So we'll go ahead and work through that. Okay. Ooh, 89% marketability. I like that a lot. Okay, so let's get set for our next race. Once again, I'm going to choose the ninth or above. At this point, we're going to be losing quite a bit of money regardless. And let's see, let's move. Let's move up to there. So now we'll have two very strong engines, comparatively speaking, of course. And okay, not too bad. The next race, we'll be able to move up with our other car to this new engine. Okay, I'm excited about that. And I believe at this point, we're ready to head to the track. Welcome back, everyone. And practice and qualifying are now done. And just as with the first race, we did not have good sessions in either. So we'll start out with our knowledge bonuses before getting into the setups and starting positions and so on. We've got the 15% race trim and the super soft tires at 15%. So setups once again were pretty good. Uh, not bad considering I didn't do any of the controlling. I simply set up the qualifying uh, bonuses and that was it, or excuse me, the qualifying setups. And that was it, no tweaking or anything on my part. So ultra softs, here's the way this works out. It's a very short race, only 13 laps. They don't give you very much fuel at all. Again, the idea here is that you're going to have to make two stops in each race. That's the idea of the series and, and the reasoning behind uh, what they do with uh, the amount of fuel on board. So two stops is the goal. But quite frankly, I don't see any reason to make two stops in this race. You can do it on one stop. Now you're going to have to run the engine in low mode so that you can save as much fuel, which of course slows you down quite a bit. I really don't want to do that. Um, so I may do what I'm planning on doing is two stops with this particular driver, our, our number one driver here. And then with the second driver doing the one stop strategy uh, again, because I hate doing the one stop strategy because you have to run the engine low. It just makes you slow and all that kind of thing. But it generally gets me, a pretty good finishing position when I do it. So we'll see how it works out here. So we're going to start off on the ultra softs, which will go seven to nine laps. And again, I'm not going to push the engine because I need to keep from having to repair the engine if at all possible in this race. But seven to nine laps should be no problem at all since we're only going to have enough fuel for about six laps out of this. Okay, so we're going to start there. And again, I really don't want to push anything right now in the car because we're going to have to do enough repairs as it is. And I'm going to have a hard time doing a one-stop strategy with all these repairs, I think. But of course, we're going to give it a go. If it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. All right, so six to eight laps here. This is a car that I'm going to attempt to do 
the one stop strategy on. So six to eight laps, what do we need to do that? Well, we need seven and six laps. So we'll see how far we can go on this first set. We'll turn this into, should be able to turn this pretty easily into seven laps. And then the next time around, we should be able to run uh, on a regular fuel mode. But again, we'll see how that works. All right, so before we start, I'm trying to get in the habit of doing this and hopefully you will as well go ahead and save not only at the beginning of the race or before the beginning of the race but also feel free to save throughout the race as well just in case things happen which unfortunately they seem to happen a little bit too often for my liking all right let's go ahead and turn everything on auto because there's no way on earth i'm going to remember <laughs> to use that now there is another option here that you may not have seen before uh, is, which is the hybrid option. Essentially what happens is, as you see, as you drive, your battery is going to uh, charge up as it should. But then what you can do is, as it once it reaches a certain level of charge, um, and what I have found is once you get to about 18% or so, uh, probably depending on the track, you can actually use the hybrid option and what it does is it, it significantly reduces the amount of fuel that your car will use for that particular lap so you can use it as a fuel sta saving strategy uh, which is what i tested out some with in the first season all right right now it's pretty interesting that the car that i'm choosing to do the you know essentially run slower laps with so that they can save fuel is also the one that is has been in front and holding off the other driver in fact still is so now my two drivers are fighting amongst themselves for last place so boy doesn't that make you feel good about life okay so it looks like everybody is taking it really easy on the tires we are not doesn't seem to be helping us any but uh, for the most part everybody it has been pushing Oh wow, and already we're getting warnings for this. Okay, so that is not good at all. So much for that one-stop strategy I was hoping to do. That may not that may not work at all. Okay, let's go ahead and conserve there. Okay, so wow, we finally made a pass. <laughs> at this point, I am pretty excited about that. Okay, we need this part to hang in there. It's at 19 right now, which is fine. But once you're down in the red zone, parts can drop in there. It just happened. It dropped to 3%, so we may not make it back around to pit road at this point. Okay, I'm going to need to turn some things around. I don't want to stack these guys up in the pits because that is not going to help me out. So again, so much for this particular strategy. Okay, let's see what we want to do here. Let's go four laps on this one. Okay, part condition. If we can make it back to the pits, we're going to fix that one. This one and this one. Okay, so we'll fix those. Hopefully the other two parts will make it to the end. All right, let's swap over to our other car and let's see what we've got. Okay, we're not looking great on the spoiler here, but I think we should be able to make it at least another lap, hopefully. All right, are we going to make it? Yes, our car made it to the pits there. You see our position jump way up. Okay, so once again, uh, let's see. Are we going to be able to do this? Seven? Yes, we may be able to. Six laps remaining. Okay, so pitch strategy is there. Let's look at our part condition. And I'm going to go ahead and fix. These two parts should make it to the end of the race on a one-stopper. At least that's what we're going to try to do. You can see we're not the only ones that are on a one-stop strategy, that's for sure. Okay, so we had problems just like on the tire change. see are we going to make it back around we're about to run out of fuel how about that just in time
Okay, so let's go ahead and move this back up to medium. Okay, car condition is better now. I'm going to actually run this a full lap at least on the lowest. And you can see I've already got the tires down to the bottom trying to conserve tires. We're going to see if we can... Oh, there's the spoiler again. No, we're not going to make this. Yeah, it, I mean, we could chance it and we might be able to make it. But quite frankly, I'm just not sure. I'm trying to decide at this point if I'm going to come back in. All right, let's go ahead and move this up to medium. And yeah, there's no sense in this. We are not going to make it. Okay, let's go ahead and change the tires. Might as well while we're here. And put a little extra fuel in there. Okay, part condition. We're going to fix this. And that should be plenty to get us to the end. going to go ahead and have them pushing. You can already see you got one retirement and it looks like another car there that is about to be our next retiree. Okay, it looks like our fuel is going to be good here. All right, we're up into eighth position. I see more black smoke up here. Oh, and of course we've got rain. Let's see, am I going to need to... Wow, decisions, decisions, decisions. All right, let's go ahead and pit. I'm not sure that's actually worth doing. But we've already got one car that's out there on. All right, let's see how much time we lose there. Okay, we're up into third, and let's go ahead and press it as much as we, we can. This will be an absolutely great finish. All right, we're down some on the engine, but I think we're gonna have enough to make it. It's weird to be saying that when you're on the final lap here. So we're running third and fourth. Only two retirements there, so that's a little bit odd to me. Looks like everybody else tried to stay out. So our laps are actually pretty good. You can see our lap times versus the competition. Uh, we might have actually been okay not to do this. Ooh, we just moved into second. And wow, what a huge finish for us. We come home second and fourth. That is actually pretty amazing. I wasn't expecting that. Um, I actually thought we might lose some spots by coming in and making that final pit stop for tires. But as it turned out, it was the right thing to do. Or maybe, who knows, if I wouldn't have come in, maybe we would have actually won the race. But regardless, a great finish. Two cars in the top five, that's pretty amazing. And by far, the biggest benefit this gives us is we score points. That is huge. Let's see, a two-stop strategy won the race. Let's see, they only ran four laps on this set of super softs, so they must have been out of ultra softs. So we actually made, ended up making two stops. Two stops there, two stops here. And it looks like we, our one car was the only car that came in for the intermediates. Interesting. Uh, but I enjoy that kind of stuff. That's, you know, sometimes you're the hero, sometimes you're the zero whenever you do things like that. We came out okay there. But most importantly, of course, is we get the points. We come away with nine points and we make a little bit of money. And of course, anytime you can get a podium at this particular uh, juncture, just season two, it's pretty awesome. So right now we sit fourth. And seventh place right now has two points, so we're seven up on them, and I have no real reason to believe that seventh position is probably going to make, it's going to take them a while to get to nine points in this season. 
So I'm feeling pretty good about where we stand at this particular point. Let's go ahead and move on, see how much money we end up losing for this race. Uh, that's something you have to really get used to when you're playing as a team that you created versus one that you simply take over. Uh, and that's because whenever you create a new team, they don't manage the money per race for you. They give you a certain amount of money up front beginning of the year, which we saw earlier, which was, I think, a little bit over $17 million for the full season. So they don't give you so much per race. They give you amount for the season, and then you have to work with it from there. All right, Ultra Sauce wear more slowly. That's pretty much useless. All right, tire changes are 50% faster. That could be helpful. Tire changes are generally not the limiting factor. It's usually the fuel that's the limiting factor. But, hey, we'll take any bonuses we can get. A big jump here because we came in second as a team. We get a nice 1.67 jump in our marketability. And the happiness jumps way up, 41%. I like it. That's the kind of thing we need. Only a loss of 1.3 million. It's always interesting when you say I only lost 1.3 million. So all in all, I would consider that. I mean, that to me felt like a win. We had two cars in the top five. Hard to get much better than that and definitely not something that I would have expected. So thank you very much for joining me and stay tuned for more Motorsport Manager.